Hello, my lovely, lovely dreamers. Hello to you and you and you. And of course, you, you, you and you and you. I'm really happy to see you again. I'm always, always so happy, 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 happy. shopping, grocery shopping, and this video classified second, you have voted for it, so here it is, I have a pile of grocery products on my table, and Let's get started. I really hope that you are having a wonderful day or evening or afternoon. I love, love watching grocery hauls. I always watch Southern ASMR sounds. She has always been such an inspiration. I love watching her all the homes. So, let's get started. These are the products that I'm going to show. And I'm going to show them to you one by one and explain a little bit what I use. Therefore, so welcome to my, to my kitchen. Before we get started, I need to mention that this is not that we eat. We have also bought other products that go in the freezer. Uh, so they are in the freezer. So bought a turkey for Luna and so on water for us and Luna but um, this is just a part we have a pantry downstairs next to the garage and we keep some of our uh, canned food in there so I'm going to show you one product we have bought more than one, but I'm going to show you only one. So I will start with some cheese. We love cheese and now in summer it's a good choice for a light meal accompanied by tomatoes or a salad. So this is uh, ricotta, ricotta o vina. This is a sheep cheese, sheep ricotta. It's very, very tasteful and it is produced in the south of East Italy. So it is a uh, natural product. Uh, it uh, has in it only milk, sheep milk and salt and nothing else. So, a healthy alternative for a light meal. This is goat cheese. 
it's fresh so we need to eat it right away Bacon. Alright, so 
smoked bacon. I also bought some mortadella, 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 and we use this for sandwiches. For sandwiches, I have some more bacon. Pancetta fumicata, pancetta fumicata. It's um, sealed like so, and we keep this in the fridge, of course. Pancetta looks like this. pieces of bacon. I know that some um, some make a carbonara with guanciale, but we have tried once. It's a little bit too crazy for us to say so. It tastes it okay. tastes delicious. It's very good, but. Um, a little bit too much for us, so we prefer uh, we prefer pancetta in carbonara. Right, the next thing that I have mushrooms. Uh, buoni e sempre pronti, so it means good and always ready to use. This it is said that is already. Uh, cooked meal, you can use this as a meal directly from the can. But I use this um, for risotto, I use this for pasta when I make pasta and sausage. Um, I use this to uh, make different dishes with chicken breast and um, this kind of mushrooms and sour cream and I have another ones this is one I also have this ones fungi vanity um, we live in Veneto this the region we live in is called Veneto the part of Italy and these mushrooms are typical um, from this region and these are already sliced and you can eat them like this or you just add them uh, in risottos in risotto or Delicious, and 
and these are used for pasta sauce or to add them to soups or other dishes I make some Romanian dishes like sour soup or stews and I always add a little bit of this they're really good alright, let's see what this is crinkly I'm sorry about this this is crinkly, crinkly, crinkly these are again mushroom fungi dal bosco which means um, forest mushrooms and, um, and these mushrooms are dried as you can see they are dried and their um, flavor is really strong so you need to use just a little bit, a little bit, a little bit a little bit to add to your dish they're used especially for risotto again let's make some crinkly sounds I hope this video won't be too long I have a lot of products a lot of Next one is a muti, and this is um, just 100% uh, Italian product. So Italians are really, really proud of their products, and I admire them for this. When they go shopping, they look on the label to see where this thing is produced. And they prefer buying their products they want to encourage little farmers and things that grow on their land and this is a tomato paste it's sealed so it's just a very dense it's sealed I can very dense paste that you add to your dishes when you're cooking I can use this for all kinds of sauce right, these are peeled tomatoes peeled tomatoes Can you sit? 
she's so cute. And this is the coffee cream. And then I like to add one of them some more coffee. Just coffee cream. Nothing, nothing fancy. It makes is famous Barilla so these are um, pipette ricotte I use these little things to make cold pasta which is some sort of salad with pasta and vegetables Diet product. 
would have to say so to have so much sugar in it. Now, probably they are good, but I am always on keto diet, so I cannot have um, sugar. Inside this, and it has. 
has a real seal up here. This is um, <coughs> aceto balsamico di Modena, uh, balsamic vinegar. Stepping. 
up this start stepping and tapping again forgets to stop but when it's gently done like gentle whispering does it almost unintentional delicately that way I like it but when it's like this
as a spice spread a little bit of this of the pasta or the type of pasta or we just use a little bit in different sauce uh, type of sauce milk I love milk we love milk in uh, this house look how cute this cow is a latte in the Why should 
They put sugar in and offer everything. Look at the color. This bag. But it has sugar in it, so it is going to stay in the pantry until I find someone to gift it. This is our favorite uh, bread, say so, when it comes to canned tuna. Here's some ice bags. Here, just take one of these. It's upside down. One of these. Put some water in it. Seal it and put it in the freezer. So we use a lot of ice, like everyone else, I suppose, in summertime for a tea, for um, iced coffee, even for water, glass of water with a slice of uh, lemon, some ice, and you have a delicious, refreshing drink. So, so using this see it shows you how to use them three more products and I am done I have some green tea
have something that is not healthy, but we use this from time to time, like everyone else. You cannot, you need to have some mayonnaise in the house. So, um, I bought some little jars of this mayonnaise. Buona come un momento insieme, so it says, tasteful like a moment together. It's made from craft. Craft, 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 craft. When we, um, we prepare a dish and need mayonnaise for that, Dish. Uh, we like to prepare the mayonnaise ourselves from fresh eggs but this is just in case we want to have some mayonnaise for a sandwich or something when we decide not to eat healthy once in a while so we need to have this in, in our pantry and finally, the last thing that I have is again aglio e peperoncino, which means garlic and chili peppers. Spicy thing to add in your um, food just for extra. loves this. He um, sprinkled this over every dish except um, desserts. So we always have this in, in the house. Aglio and pepperoncino. Nice. Cute little jar. but not, I, I like this one I don't like the other one that I have shown you but I like this one just a little bit it tastes really, really good and finally and finally I have finished my grocery haul I think this is my second I'm sure is my second grocery haul one of my first videos that I have made was a grocery haul also because I was so inspired by Southern ASMR Sounds videos and I loved watching hers but it was I was just a beginner to so, say so and almost no one saw that video I think I, I made it in December last year um, I am planning to make a drugstore a shopping hall also so let me know Comments below if you enjoyed this kind of self-spoken grocery haul if you'd like to see more thank you very much for me. thank you very much for watching the whole thing please don't forget to drop a like it really it's really important for our channel Please leave a comment, I love reading them. And if you're not subscribed yet, consider subscribing. It really, really means a lot. Thank you very much again and see you tomorrow for another true crime story.